In the structural model, we're moving from the analysis of the problem domain, trying to understand the problem itself, to the solution domain, trying to design, analyze, and figure out the solution. And we start that with an analysis class diagram. And so we're going to identify what classes in the system are we going to need for the solution. And classes are use a diagram that have three sections. They contain a class name and attributes. And attributes are those properties that contain the information that that class is going to contain. So for the data and the information, those attributes that the class is going to have. And the last section is for operations, so the things that the class can do, so functionality of the class. And after we define the classes, then we need to identify the relationships between the classes. And there are three basic types of relationships. There's the generalization, and this is, involves inheritance of attributes and or operations. And it represents a kind of relationship. There's aggregation, which relates to parts or things that are a part of. And association, which is a miscellaneous relationship we put on all the others that are not generalization and aggregation.